And joining us now is Biodun Shoumi, Public Affairs Analyst, to take a look at the suit against lopsided appointments by the President. Good morning, uh, Shoumi. Good morning. Thank you Good for morning. joining us. Thank you for being with us this morning. Now, this move is quite unprecedented. Do you consider this as democracy in action? Uh, well, actually, it's um, not just about democracy. The issue is the rule of law. Right. If the federal character you know, um, acts clearly states that um, we must reflect the federal structure, you know, in terms of appointment, in all appointments, and we are not doing that, then there's the need to get the courts to compel the presidency to act. Um, it does not matter who is in the power, who is in power or to whose advantage, whether it is to the north or to the south. Mm -hmm. The fact of the matter is um, the federal character principle is enshrined in law to give a sense of belonging to all Nigerians, to ensure that we do not sectionalize or regionalize um, public appointments um, to the exclusion of one section of the country or the other. So therefore, I think it's a matter you know, of, for the rule of law, not um, about uh, democracy per se, because you can still have democracy even when you know, appointments are done, you know, in a lopsided manner. I can give you a good example. Um, if you have debt of skills in a particular area and then you have more of it elsewhere, uh, what we do in Nigeria is we do the contract culture, which is to bring in foreign expatriates to fill that. Well, of course, that is to the detriment of Nigerians who are skilled or from a different part of the country. So that can be, democr that can be democratic but not necessarily contributing to national development. So I think it's a matter of um, rule of law. Mm -hmm. But they do not resort to violence or any form of insurrection, uh, but seeking redress. Now, what alleged mar marginalization, which according to them, is a breach of federal character? Well, yes, that's a good development that at least Nigerians are beginning, uh, particularly those who were prone to uh, employ violence are now rethinking their strategy to deal with issues. Mm -hmm. We should not forget the fact that um, there was a time when they were calling shots and they mm -hmm. actually did exactly what they are accusing um, President Buhari of doing, you mm -hmm. know, particularly when uh, we had Jonathan in power. So this idea of tit for tat does not solve the problem. Right. What they are actually calling for is that the federal character should be reflected in all appointments. And that, to a large extent, has been uh, one of the weak points of the present administration. They cited the security chiefs as one example. But anyways, recent statistics shows otherwise in all federal appointments, with the South having more. Uh, so is it, what, what's the problem? Is it that those who are there, we are not feeling their pulse? Yes, um, I think many people are concerned about the security situation in the country. Um, and it's one area where we need to avoid politicizing appointments, both on the part of those who are making the allegations and also on the part of those who are making the appointments, that is the federal government. We cannot afford to politicize the military. We need to base it on the best possible skills my um, email resources, you know, available within the military. Um, when you look at what is going on in the country, we had the Americans coming in, they dashed out again under President Jonathan because of security breaches that they think would amount to they wasting their time in Nigeria. Since then, we've been having, you know, major conflicts, you know, raging insurgency in the country, which we've not been able to tame. We've been assured several times that um, the insurgency has been checkmated, but of course that is not the situation. Where um, insurgency appears to have been degraded, uh, they again the surface elsewhere because that's the nature of insurgency. Nobody can clearly say they have defeated any insurgency anywhere in the world, including the United States of America. But then. That does not mean that we should base our decisions, you know, on uh, political considerations rather than security considerations. That is, the appointments in the military must reflect the best possible human resources 
available in the military to deal with situation. And one problem which you see with the security situation is, you know, there's the lack of synergy, you know, between the intelligence agencies, uh, agencies and the actual guys on the field. Otherwise, a lot of ambushes against the Nigerian troops should not be happening. Um, one do, we don't know what is going on there, but I think the president is now trying to say, okay, hang on a minute, um, he's going to read the riot act and let us wait and see um, the results on the field. If more of our soldiers are still being killed uh, with no uh, means of, um, or no clear prospect of um, degrading the insurgency, then of course um, the president should do the needful, which is to change um, personnel and see whether we can get a better personnel that would strategize and deal with the insurgency. All right, thank you so very much, Biodun Shoumi, for your contributions.